Um, in terms of volatility, so kind of, and I know you guys wanted to ask me about VIX, didn't you? Yeah, I, my reference is. was, I think we should talk about the VIX because in my opinion, it's always referred to, even if I'm investing in something else, at the part of a conversation, that will always arrive. Yeah, and if, you, if you're listening to investing podcasts mm. and you're looking at investing um, uh, stuff on TV, Longevity or, or if, you're on, yeah, if you're on X yeah, and yeah. you're reading stuff, you, the, the, they will be a reference. So VIX, uh, put simply, is uh, stands for Volat- Volatility Index, Yeah. Mm-hmm. so V-I-X, VIX. Um, and what it is, it, it, in a nutshell, I'm going to bore you to death with it, but is a, <laughs> <laughs> is a measurement of... Uh, expected volatility in the market, US equities, over the next 30 days. And they measure it by uh, activity within options contracts. So how many people are buying options to um, sell a certain stock or to buy a certain stock yeah, over the next 30, 30 days? Yeah, that That's what VIX is. Um, and it's been in place probably since the 90s, I think, from, from memory. Um, but it is kind of an accepted... Um, and people will use it in times of it's times the, like it's now. It's the fear index, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's known as. Yeah, 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 yeah. Times like now and also times like 2022, March 2020. Uh, but what's really interesting about the VIX, and it is a very, very, you know, it's it's an accepted measure of uh, volatility and, mm-hmm. and risk in the markets. And as you were saying, why is it so up and down? Why is it so volatile? Um, and is that something we should be worried about? Well, <laughs> it's it, funny you say it, because actually right now it isn't. Yeah. Um, so if, if the, the, and I, there's a guy, um, uh, um, uh, so Nick Tamaros, who's an amazing, uh, analyst from the U S uh, and that we, I, we take his uh, analysis in, he, he's my daily routine. His analysis comes in every morning. Um, and using his, he, the long-term average of the VIX is 20. So just take that as a normal number. Yeah. Uh, standard deviation of the VIX, I'm not going to get too boring here, is, is about eight. <laughs> yeah. So if it moves down uh, Above and below eight, the number, exactly, yes. yeah. So that's one standard deviation, and you would normally say that two standard deviations or anything over that is a big move, and it's either overbought or oversold. Yeah, and you would say that's the opportunity. And on that would side. usually be leading up to okay, we're waiting for pre this year earnings call and stuff that could adapt and could change that a lot. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's yeah, quite yeah. Usually and, and, and actually, at the moment, it's really not volatile. Yeah, but it and this is, this is the interesting thing. It really feels it like because intraday, like like you were talking about Nvidia, that had a ten percent move down intraday the other day. Yeah, we know yeah. how much it's gone up, so it can happen. But just to put some numbers on the on the on the VIX thing for you, give give you some reality. So twenty is the long term average. Yeah, and t- today, in fact, I can have a quick look because it's measured uh, constantly. Maybe about fourteen fifteen probably, <laughs> which way it has been. Um, so fifteen point five six. Yeah. So it's currently below the long-term average. Well, you come back to the reference of NVIDIA dropping. Like, the, the not, I was going to say, the annoying thing is, like, there's there's no reason why it's gone up and no reason why it's gone down within that sort of time zone. There's no news. No news has come there's out. There's no news as such. Other but than people... The reason it's gone up and down is because people are trading it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, the fact that you can get a three times leveraged NVIDIA so, ETF. Um, so why do you think it's come down right now, though? Just a lot of people have thought, oh, it's at a maximum high now. Let's, it's, uh... it's gone very high very quick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I've got a thought and process. It's a, and it's a trading, uh, a trading thing. Yeah. But just on the VIX, for example, I'll give you some kind of numbers. Mm. So um, 2001, yeah. uh, which was the dot-com bubble, yes, yeah, yeah. Um, VIX reached uh, on, on the 20th of September uh, about 44. So if, uh, you know, I've mentioned long-term average is 20. Wow. Standard deviation is 8. You've that is doubled it. Well, way over. Dot com bubble, bubble yeah, burst. Yeah, right? yeah. Um, that, uh, so, 21st of uh, October 2021, which was, go- if you think going back, that was post COVID, NFTs existed and were doing what they were doing, all that kind of stuff, euphoria. <laughs> and the Vic- things, NFTs. The VIX was at 15. <laughs> yeah. So, what did I okay. say it was today? Same, pretty mm. much. So, keep a, an eye on that. <laughs> and then on the 16th of March 2020, which we all remember. Yep was kind of around the time we were all told, told us to stay at home, COVID. Oh. The VIX reached 83. Wow. What the... Is, this, so is that like a record pretty, high? <laughs> that is a record high. I was high. going to say, is that... From what I've uh, looked through, from certainly from uh, the 90s, okay, that's, through, that's, 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 that's the highest reading I could see. Holy uh, cow, yeah. Um, and, uh, and then in July... Sorry, in, in March 2022, that was when we started to have... 
uh, inflation's out of control, need to yeah. raise interest rates, and the uh, regional the banking crisis thrown in, mm-hmm. yeah. in the yeah. US, it got to 36. Okay. So that felt really bad. That was nowhere like near the dot com almost. And nowhere yeah. near dot com. Yeah, yeah, but certainly nowhere near COVID. Yeah. That's interesting, actually. That's, yeah. So VIX is, that's why VIX is an important measure. So, so like now, feel, things feel frothy, like mm-hmm. you said. They feel yeah. things are very, very high, a bit very punchy. High. Yeah. You know, only a few stocks carrying it. VIX is around 15. So volatility is still fairly low. But I think, I think stabilization of kind of like all that free money has been put into the market. I think what, one thing that I'd kind of look is just if you step back and think like, okay, the stock market's continuously growing. Yeah, all time high. You have to mention gold and Bitcoin. Yeah, people must have been holding back like masses amounts of cash, whether that be companies and personal, mm-hmm. and that must be being put into the market right now. And that's one thing that I kind of find interesting because everything's high. It's interesting to say it. Um, what what money's coming from somewhere? Yeah, mm-hmm. but what the what the data would say? We we have a um, I have a a weekly flows report from iShares and BlackRock. Yeah, 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 yeah. and again. 